I'm Jacob James, photographer, filmmaker, and Lumix ambassador. One of the biggest features for filmmakers using the S1H is the variety of codecs, frame rates, and resolutions that this camera has to offer. At first glance, the record quality options might seem daunting, but in this video, we're gonna dive in and explain in a little bit more detail about each and every option you have at your disposal within the S1H. First off, the S1H has a number of different video container options found under the image format submenu of the video menu. The most commonly used are .mov and .mp4. Technologically, there's very little difference. MP4 was actually derived from .mov technology. Across the Lumix range in recent times, there's been a move towards aligning .mov as the go-to container for professional feature sets. In the S1H, if you wish to access features like 6K resolution, and anamorphic shooting, it's essential to shoot in .mov. Now you might be thinking that .mov is an Apple-only container, but recently Windows compatibility with .mov has increased to the point where it's now a viable container for compatibility with both operating systems. In the past, MP4 required less resources as it's a lossy format, but now computer technology on the Windows side has caught up which means that .mov is now a better choice for high quality recording. The S1H comes equipped with a 24 megapixel sensor that's capable of recording up to 6K resolution in 3x2 aspect ratio and 5.9K resolution in 16x9. On top of these, you have the ability to shoot in cinema 4K resolution, the standard for cinema, UHD 4K, the 16x9 standard for television, 4x3 Super 35 anamorphic 4K, as well as 1080p Full HD modes as well. The S1H comes with three recording modes. Full sensor mode, which is a classic full frame sensor size, or 35 mm The second mode is Super 35, which for many decades has been the standard image size for cinema. Super 35 is approximately the same as APS-C image standard of many DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, with a crop factor of roughly 1.5 times. Lastly, pixel pixel mode records the image one to one. So why would you use super 35 mode over full frame? Many traditional cinema lenses have been designed with an image circle for super 35. So if you try them in full frame mode, you'll get a black vignette around the outside. If you're wanting to use classic cinema glass like Zeiss Super Speeds or Cook Pancros, then Super 35 mode will allow you to use the widest range of cinema glass on the S1H. With a shift to larger format cinema cameras, a lot of new cinema glass is now being designed for larger sensors like the S1H. For all the resolutions in the S1H under Cinema 4K, you have the option to choose either all intra codec or long gop. Long gop is a compressed format that uses a mixture of what we call iframes and PMB frames. I-frames are ones that record the whole image, whilst PMB frames just record the pixel changes between each frame, rather than recording the entire image. This allows the camera to record the same image quality, but at a much lower bitrate. Long gop formats require the computer to compile each frame from the information stored in the PMB frames as you play it back. All intra is an alternative compression format that as the name suggests, it's made solely from intraframes or iframes, which means each compressed frame is recorded in full. The advantage of all i is that the camera doesn't have to predict detail, so pixel level detail should be smoother and more accurate. And also, in editing, there's less work for the computer to compile the footage on playback, so editing and exporting in post should be much faster and smoother. With that said, all i codecs can be up to three times heavier on memory, and they also require much faster SD cards. And this is a quick dive into the recording modes on the brand new Lumix S1H. Panasonic. 